Welcome to my YouTube channel. The Daily Post brings another new informative video about flanges and its types. It is the best informative video where you will get learn about all types of flanges in very detail with best graphics. If you are watching first time, I will suggest you to watch previous videos of this channel. Must watch this video and how you find this video, please rate about this video in comment box. Please share and subscribe to get new videos. Keep watching the daily post. Choose the best way to learn. Like always, the daily post brings new and latest valuable videos for you. In this video we will cover the following. What is flange? Types of flanges. What is flange? Flanges are used to connect valves, pipes, pumps and other equipment, to make a pipe work system. Typically, flanges are welded or threaded, and two flanges are connected together by bolting them, with gaskets to provide a seal, that provides easy access to the piping system. These flanges are available in various types such as slip-on flanges, weld neck flanges, blind flanges, socket weld flanges, and others. Let's talk about types of flange. The common type of flange is slip-on flange. As the name suggests, these flanges slip over a pipe, and are hence known as slip-on flanges. A slip-on flange is also known as an so flange. It's a kind of flange, that are slightly bigger than the pipe, and slides over the pipe, with an internal design. Slip-on pipe flanges are used with a raised or flat face. These flanges are a suitable choice for low-pressure applications. These flanges excessively utilized in many fluid pipelines. Another type of flange is weld neck flange. Weld neck flange is also known as a tapered hub flange or high hub flange. Weld neck flange has a neck, that can move the pipe tension, thereby reducing the pressure gathered in the bottom of the flange. It is compatible with pipelines, which operate at high or low temperatures, and withstand high pressure. A weld neck flange comprises of a circular fitting, with a protruding edge around the circumference. Weld neck flange has been used successfully at pressures up to 5,000 pounds per square inch. Another common type of flange is socket weld flange. The socket weld flanges are only connected on the outside, by one fillet weld and are often not advised for critical services. These are mostly used for the small bore line. For this type of flange, the thickness of the connecting pipe should be defined to ensure proper bore length. Before welding, a gap must be formed in the socket weld flange, between the flange R fit and the pipe. The objective of a socket weld's bottom clearance, is generally to minimize the residual pressure at the weld root, that could occur during weld metal solidification. Blind flange. Blind flanges are produced without a bore, and are utilized to blank off the ends of pipes, valves and pressure vessel openings. From the point of view of internal pressure, and bolt loading, the most overstressed flange types are blind flanges, especially in bigger sizes. The function of these flanges is to obstruct a segment of the pipe or a nozzle, on a vessel that is not in use. Another very special type of flange is spectacle flange. A spectacle blind is a steel plate, which has been cut into two discs of a certain thickness. The two discs are connected to each other by a part of steel, similar to the piece of a pair of glasses on the nose. The spectacle blind is usually installed in the open position, so that the flow through the pipe is feasible. If the spectacle blind is rotated in the closed position, the pipe is blanked off and no flow is feasible. Another common type of flange is threaded flange. Threaded flanges look nearly identical to slip-on flanges, but the key difference is that the threaded flange has been bored out to match the inside diameter of a particular pipe. The threaded flange is a type of flange, that has taper pipe threads in its bore conforming to ASME B1.20.1, and can be used in piping systems where welding flange onto the pipe is not possible, such as highly explosive areas where welding can develop potential risk. Another special type of flange is lap joint flange. Lap joint flanges are used with stub ends when the pipe is made of expensive material. For example, a carbon steel flange can be added to the stainless steel pipe system, because the flange will not come into contact with the substance in the pipe. The stub ends will be butt welded too. The pipe, and the flanges will remain loose. Lap joint flange is therefore used in low pressure and non-critical applications. Thanks for watching this video. 
see you in next video with more types of flange so please wait for next informative video. If you are new, please subscribe and write about this video in comment box. I will be surprised if you tell me from where you are watching this learning video in comment box. Keep watching the daily post. Choose the best way to learn.